In this video, we're going to look at is spread betting gambling. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so big question is spread betting gambling, and the answer is very, very simply. Yes, it is gambling. And why is it gambling? Well, fortunately, it is gambling because that means it's in a tax-free wrapper. There's currently no capital gains tax to pay on spread betting, which is wonderful if you're in the UK and you are spread betting. Now, sometimes it might be the odd person that it doesn't apply to, and obviously tax laws can change and all that kind of stuff. However, for most people, spread betting, it is tax-free. So it is classed as gambling from the government's perspective. Great. Now, let's look at it from a perspective of your returns. So if you were to go into a casino and you were to put, let's say, a thousand pounds on a roulette wheel, if you were to put a thousand pounds on one specific spin, let's see you're going red or black, the chances of you winning 50-50 minus the house edge. So whatever it is, 49% chance. So that's not a bad, it's almost a, toy, a coin toss to see if you're gonna make your money, double your money. However, if you placed a thousand one pound bets, the chances of you having money at the end of that are probably pretty slim, especially the more bets you do. If there's 100,000, the chance of you having money left is slim because the house edge it works over time and compounds and compounds and compounds and compounds and compounds in their favor to lose your money. So how is spread betting similar or different to that? Well, the first thing is the same thing applies if you're doing just one bet on an up or down bet, crude oil, FTSE, whatever it may be, and you place the trade, the odds of success on that are probably going to be 50-50. Chance of market going up, chance of market going down. There are some things that affect that, but just for this and all intents and purposes, let's call it 50-50. So if you put your thousand pounds on that, then exactly like a roulette wheel, you're probably going to get uh, a chance of win or loss. And obviously with spread bet, a little bit different in terms of the more right you are, the further it goes in your favor, the more money you're gonna make. Unlike a roulette wheel, which is very it's fixed odds and it is what it is, a binary event. But similarities are there. However, where the difference lies, you might be saying, well, what's the point in me spread betting then if I've got exactly the same thing as if I was going in a roulette wheel or playing blackjack or whatever it may be. Now, this is where we are moving to slightly different. So if we compare back the little thing I talked about before, we have multiple events on the roulette wheel and over time you're gonna lose your money. What we're trying to do as spread bettors is to create that, but in reverse. We are trying to become the casino, if you like, and have multiple spread bets that have a positive expectancy, so that over time, if we have enough occurrences of them, that's when we know we're gonna make money. So we don't know if we're gonna make money on each individual spread bet. However, if we have a plan and a strategy, we, over time, want to have that edge work for us. We might lose a couple, win a couple, lose a couple, win, 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 and we slowly want to build our equity curve up. The problem we have when you approach spread betting from a pure punter's perspective is you are literally, not only are you, you've got, let's assume you've got 50-50, okay, but not only that, but the trouble you've got with spread betting compared to something like a binary event in a casino is that your mental approach and the human nature works against you. Now, if you haven't started spread betting yet, you haven't you've probably not seen how this affects you and how uh, you, know, you want to grab those winners quickly and you don't want to take the losers. But human nature really acts in reverse of what a good spread better does. A good spread better wants to, should do, run the profits longer. That's the beauty of a spread bet, the more correct you are the more money you're making and when you're wrong cutting the losers because then you're skewing things in your favor you know rather than saying okay uh, it's 50 50 here's my win here's my loss you're trying to make it like this okay so here's your win on this side and here's your loss so that when you're right you're making more than when you're wrong and so that's how it can play to your advantage so Going back to the point of, is it gambling? Most definitely it is. Can you adjust it to your favor? Most definitely you can. It takes time, it's a different approach. You've got to understand, there's a lot of kind of things to think about. It's a mindset game of understanding the consequences mentally of having something when it goes wrong being worse and worse and worse, and when it goes right being better and better and better. It's very different from a lot of things that you might be used to. However, if you can get into that workout, 
trading plan, a spread betting plan, a strategy that works for you over time, then you can become that casino and your edge works out, it works out, works out. An example of that might be you've got a chart pattern. Some, a lot of people use charts uh, to make their trading decisions. By the way, if you're interested in that, go and check out loads of videos on the channel. We've got about trading strategies and charts and how to pick trades and stuff like that. So, you know, hit the subscribe button and go and have a look around. But that's the point. If you've got something, let's say a chart pattern that you think works over time, then you look for that pattern again and again and again and again, and you trade it under certain conditions and in certain instruments. And then over the longer period of time, that is what you're hoping is gonna make you profitable, not the each individual trade. So that is spread betting, guys. Is spread betting gambling? It most definitely is. However, that's a good thing. Take care, bye-bye.